Coffee brew ratios is one of the key factors that you need to learn and master either as a beginner barista or as a professional barista each time that you're going to brew a perfect cup of coffee. And this is because coffee brew ratio determines the taste, flavor, the strength or the lightness of your cup of coffee. In this video, I would like to share with you my experience as a coffee barista when it comes to the coffee brew ratios and how you can use them so that you can brew a perfect cup of coffee. You know, I'm the Rode Barista. This channel is all about sharing coffee knowledge so that you can make a perfect cup of coffee. Today we'll be talking about the coffee brew ratios. These act as a guideline for us as baristas or coffee makers, either at home or in a coffee shop. One of the key things that comes into your head every time you're going to brew a cup of coffee is a coffee brew ratio simply means the amount of coffee that you need to the amount of water so that you can extract the desirable flavors into your cup of coffee using a particular brew method whether it's a drip coffee or an espresso coffee it's very important that you understand the coffee brew ratio that you use take for instance if you come across a ratio of one to two this means you need one gram of grinded coffee and you'll multiply it with two grams of water so that you can get your yield out. We'll start with the basic one, which is the espresso coffee brew ratio. It's a one to two. This is the standard brew ratio for the espresso. Each one gram of grinded coffee beans is equivalent to two grams of water. So when you're extracting your espresso, no matter how many grams you use, you'll need to multiply it by two so that you get your yield out. In our coffee shop, we use a 20 gram basket so we'll grind 20 grams of coffee beans then we'll extract 40 grams out as our yield out for our espresso this is the standard brew ratio for our espresso coffees and also you can break it down into the restrictor the standard ratio is a one to one ratio meaning we are going to use each one gram of grinded coffee is equivalent to one gram of water so when we are extracting our restrato, we're going to use the same 20 grams of grinded coffee result in 220 grams as our yield out for our restrato. You can adjust it into a longer, which has a ratio of 1 to 3. This means each 1 gram of grinded coffee is equivalent to 3 grams of water. So whenever we're making our longer, we're going to use a 20 gram basket and we'll extract 60 grams out as our yield out for a long one. Then for our pour overs and the dripping coffees, the V60, Chemex and the Kalita, we use a 1 to 15 ratio. This means each one gram of grinded coffee is equivalent to 15 grams of water. So for our pour overs, we use same 20 grams of grinded coffees, then we will extract 300 grams out as our yield out for our V60s and the pour overs. This is a simple guide whenever you're brewing a pour over or dripping coffee. And for our cold brew, we use a 1 to 10 ratio. This means each 1 gram of grinded coffee beans is equivalent to 10 grams of water. So when we are making our cold brew, we are going to grind our 20 grams of grinded coffees then we're going to multiply it by 10 so that we can achieve our yield out which is 200 for our cold brew this is a guideline whenever you're brewing your cold brew coffee aeropress has is one of the brew method that has different ranges of coffee brew ratio starting a 1 to 4 to a 1 to 10 and also a 1 to 15. so you should understand if you're using a 1 to 4 ratio this will give you a more concentrated coffee so you're going to use each one gram of grinded coffee then you multiply it by four so that you get your output which is 80 as our yield out for our aeropress if you're using the ones to four ratio then if you're using a ones to ten ratio each one gram of grinded coffee is equivalent to 10 grams of water so if you use 20 grams of grinded coffee you're going to multiply it with 10 grams of water which will result in 200 grams as your yield that for the aeropress and if you're using a 1 to 15 ratio as i said earlier you're going to use 20 grams 
multiply it by 50 then get your yield out which is 300 grams as your yield out to use these brew ratios and come out with a perfect cup of coffee you need to understand what you need to have you need to have a weighing scale this is very important it will help you have a consistency and also it will help you whenever you're going to adjust these brew ratios you will know which measurements you're using and it will help you have a consistent cup of coffee you also need to use good quality of water this is very important not every water is used to brew coffee and also you need to have good quality of coffee beans even if you're using the right brew ratios but you're using a low quality of coffee beans or already grinded coffee beans which has lost flavors you won't receive any flavors into your cup of coffee and whenever you want to adjust your coffee brew ratios whenever you increase on the brew ratio you're going to add in more water this will lead to a lighter cup of coffee and whenever you reduce your coffee brew ratio you're going to come up with a more stronger cup of coffee this means you have more body in this cup together with the perfect grind size you can come up with the perfect cup of coffee you can check out my video i'll link it up here it's about the grind size and different brew methods by following the guidelines that i used in this video and to put it together with the perfect brew ratio this will help you and will make it more simple for you to come up with a perfect cup of coffee so that you can enjoy